do you think Kyrie right now is the best Robin to a Batman in the NBA? Because the way I see it is well, right two? now. Yeah. The best, the best number two in, in, in the league. The right best now. number two option in the league right now. Devin Booker, I mean, look, Jalen yeah, Brown, is, is Ky- LeBron is Kyrie, James. Is Kyrie better than Devin Booker? That's the, oh, that's the a option. good that's a, That's the only I – mean, I say that's the only one I'd put up there just because of the way – and I'm not talking about just how good of a player they are, but I'm talking about how effective they are truly as a second option because mm. being a second option as a bona fide superstar is really difficult because – Obviously, understanding when to be like, okay, it's my turn. I, I'm out here without the superstar out there, and being able to switch, like, shift gears from go mode to like tertiary, secondary mode is is really tough. But I think he mm-hmm. strikes that balance perfectly in Dallas. Just, and I think just it's to turn it on. What, that, that, what, that what, do do, what do you do with the Lakers? Who's who's the number two over there? Run. Number so, two, Kyrie better yeah. run. No. So unfortunate, Kyrie. But either way, my I guess my point is like the reason it worked so well in in uh in Cleveland is because Braun was there. And then you look at the way Luca plays too offensively, obviously different paces and different looking highlights, but essentially what they're trying to do is the same. They're trying to like penetrate inside, look to score or or create out of that. Um and, and Kyrie is at the end of the day a career like 40% three point shooter and like as a guy that doesn't have to create for himself, when at, when Luca is on the floor, catching and driving closeouts is is just cheese. Like, yeah, he, he's he's fine. So I'm just that's what I'm thinking. Like Devin Booker, you might say he's a better player right now, but is he a better second option? Because D Book needs volume. We've seen what happens if D Book doesn't get volume, if he doesn't get like shot attempts. What about it, what about Jamal? How y'all feel about Jamal? He no better than Kyrie. No, I don't think. I mean, just just, uh, just testing the temperature. But in terms yeah. of compliment, I like Jamal. In terms, of, in terms of how Jamal Murray compliments Jokic, I think Jamal Murray compliments Jokic more than Kyrie compliments Luca. But <laughs> Kyrie is the superior player in my. Opinion. Well, they're both guards. So, so it's, but, 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 it's a guard but, but, and a big but, versus a guard. Yeah, it sounds like so I think but, it's a better but, fitting duo. But well, that's Kyrie what I'm talking about, Mars. Because it sounds like we're talking about two different things. We're not talking about Kyrie Irving being a better player than Jamal Murray. We're talking about a second option. And how a guy mm-hmm. compliments another guy. So if Jamal Murray, yeah, Jamal Murray, just, but Joker, Jamal, Kyrie would compliment Jokic better than Jamal Murray. Would he go? I mean, I don't get me wrong. I, I I think that he would compliment him, but better than Jamal Murray. The way that those two guys work off of each other. I I, I think so. Because uh, uh, again, Ma, I mean, again, Ma, I want I want to what what I want to make sure I want to make sure that we're clear. Just because you're a better player does not necessarily mean that you're going to compliment a guy the same. Now, well, yeah, I don't think about, Russell Westbrook would compliment your kitsch, but right? I mean, so I'm talking about. So when I when I when I think about Jamal Murray, the tough shot maker that he is, Kyrie Irving Kyrie, is also Kyrie's a better Kyrie, tough shot maker, right? Kyrie Irving is also a great tough shot maker. When I think about a ball handler, Kyrie Irving is a better ball handler. However, the offense runs through Joker. With the offense running through Joker, that means that a lot of other things are going on with Kyrie Irving, getting off the peel, playing off of Joker. Would he be able to play off of Joker as well as Jamal Murray plays yeah. off of him? I think so. I think so. Yeah. The only, be Ky- the only concern with Kyrie would be health, but Jamal Murray has the same health concerns. Right. So, so it's ACL. So, so I'm, yeah, Ky- Kyrie next to Jokic would be a cheat code. I don't, I don't know what to say. He can come off dribble handoffs. He can come off screens. They run a, they run a lot of off ball right. action with Kyrie because Kyrie's comfortable coming off screens and then floating right. that into a, into a pick and roll or whatever the case right. may be. Kyrie's a better passer than Jamal Murray is, in my humble estimation. Um, and he's a better shot maker than Jamal Murray. And in terms of catch and shoot spot up, I think he better than Jamal Murray. Neither of them really get to the free throw line for real. That's my only issue with Kyrie is that he's so good at avoiding contact that he doesn't get to the free throw line. He he should for the amount of ability he has to get to the rim. With Jamal he Murray, be, he'd benefit from getting so to the free throw line. Too ethical for you, Mars. I see when we're talking about ethical oh, buckets, Kyrie number one. But when we're talking about effectiveness, Kyrie could benefit <laughs> from getting to the line. <laughs>